at Dollar Tree right now, there are a lot of products that I've been wondering whether or not they're gonna be worth your $1.25. So in today's video, I'm actually going to test a whole bunch of Dollar Tree items that I found recently to let you know if you should keep your eye out for them or pass. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. Let's do a Dollar Tree toy test. Let's get started. First up, we have the modeling dough. Now you guys already know that I like the modeling dough in general, but this one is new because it is scented. And one of the main reasons that I've liked this dough and used it for dough kits is because it didn't have that Play-Doh smell. Now it's scented, so let's see if it's worse or even better. It's a great value for getting four. Dollar Tree does sell the Play-Doh brand. Usually it's a dollar for one container or actually $1.25 for one container. All right, so this one is the green apple and it is definitely green. Okay, let me give it a smell. Okay, well, it's very light, if anything. I wouldn't say it's overpowering. I'm just now noticing that this is made by Compound Kings with this little symbol here. Compound Kings is actually a name brand. You're getting a name brand product. Next, we have, what was this, the peach? And peach is more orange, maybe a lighter color orange. Okay, definitely smell it. It's not overpowering at all. And it does smell like peach. The green apple, I don't know if it really smelled like green apple. Cotton candy for our pink, which is really cotton candy color. This one kind of actually smells like Play-Doh with a slight cotton candy scent. So it definitely has that Play-Doh scent. And the last one is blue raspberry, which looks like an electric blue. It smells like um, pixie sticks, the candy pixie sticks, blue raspberry. That's what that smells like. For these, I already know that they work well as far as dough goes. So I'm not gonna test that part, but just the scents. I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. I definitely think this is a value. The scents aren't overpowering and this would be great for some sensorial play, Play-Doh boxes, just to add that extra scent in. Like the green apple would be great for a fall one for sure. This is the Marvel Battle World Treachery at Twilight collectible adventure game. I'm not too sure what to expect from here. I actually had to price check this to make sure it was $1.25. Oh, I'm just now noticing this is from Funko. So this is name brand too. It does say it's for ages five and up and I can't get this second piece of plastic off. There we go. The ball itself is kind of cool, the way it's shaped. Then we open it here. No, here, yes. Whoa, oh my gosh. Wow, this is actually like a game. Battle ball instructions, one to two players ages six and up, which I've never done before. This is all new to me. It looks like a, kind of like a Pokemon type game with battling. Then we have this package that has a character in it and a die. Like I said, I don't know the character, but I'm definitely sure one of you will probably tell me. Six cards and they all have different things on them, which I guess those mean they're, they're bat battle powers. Here, these kind of pop open. There's little game pieces. It says, stop, do not open until you're trying Trapped hero is rescued from Thanastone. So it says not to open this. So I guess that's part of the game. So we won't open that. And then this has something inside. In the instructions, that is the Thanastone. It says do not open. But it looks like this is a full on game, <laughs> Marvel game. Not having played it, I'm gonna say for the value and considering its name brand and licensed characters, definitely a thumbs up. If you see this at Dollar Tree for $1.25, I definitely think that's worth it. This is a three in one chest checkers and backgammon board. Let's see the game board. Oh, okay. The game board is actually like a cardboard. I was expecting it to be paper because there is a Dollar Tree checkers game that is just like a piece of really thin paper. So we have checkers on one side, our checkers and chess on one side and backgammon for the other. And then we got our sets of pieces, which are on the small side. So we have a set of black and red checkers, a set of chess pieces. And then this white one also has dice inside of it. So that looks pretty good. And then the pieces themselves, I mean, they are cheap plastic, but they're a good weight and a good size. The only thing that it doesn't include are instructions. Other than that, it comes with everything that you need. And this is actually a pretty decent game board. I wouldn't say it would make it through like a lot of rough play. It's like the, the weight of like a cereal box cardboard is what it feels like. We're going to give this a thumbs up. This would be a really great gift. Great for classroom. If you need a lot of these, I would just switch out the boxes and maybe use like a Sterilite container to store all the pieces in. More from the Curiosity brand. This is actually in the Dollar Tree Plus section. So sorry for going outside of my normal $1.25 caught my eye so much that I just had to get it to see what it was about. This is $3. It's for ages six and up. It's a string art kit. For $3, I can figure out where to open it. This might be a good value. So let's open it and see. So we actually have instructions on this one, which is nice. The string art is kind of self-explanatory. So we got one page of instructions. 
So we've got this foam core. So it's kind of like a half an inch wide. You got three of those, and this is where you're going to place your little needles for your string art. You can actually make three different projects. Then it looks like it gave you templates. These are just pieces of paper, and there's like there's a star on this one. Looks like that's a heart. These are the ones from the package. This one's a bird. So here are the different string arts that they are saying you can make. Or you could just do your own if you wanted to. Here we have our embroidery floss. Five different colors, red, blue, orange, yellow, yellow and pink. And then a little package of the nails, but they're made out of plastic. So a little bit safer. All right, so let's see how this works out. For this, you just choose which template you wanna use and, pl and place it over your foam. Then I had the little nails to insert in, which was really easy to do. They are super tiny though. So for my hand size, it was a little bit more difficult, maybe easier for a smaller child. I wasn't really working those fine motor muscles. Then you're to tear away the paper from the print. This was by far the hardest part of the whole entire project. Then you pick your color. I did yellow for the star. Tie it off on one little pin and then work your way wrapping around the thread. However, sometimes those nails would pop out of the foam. Usually string art means a piece of wood and some physical nails that you hammer into the wood so that it stays put. This time, not the case. Some of them were just sliding right out. So that would have to be a downfall. Although this might be a safer option, it was definitely more frustrating when the pins did that. I'm going to give this one a thumbs up nonetheless, even though those pins were a little bit tricky to work with. This is definitely brand brand new and I'm just starting to see it in several stores. It's from Light Bright. It says it's a UV glow board and pen, ages three and up, draw with light. Great for on the go, it says. The one I got is the number one. I also saw an alphabet one and then I saw a few themed. So there was a space theme, I believe. Maybe there was a princess theme. So we have our stencil here, which is numbers one through nine plus some mass symbols on there. And then we have our glow board, which is like a piece of a paper, cardboard, and then a pen. I see right here there's a little button to push for the UV light and on the package it says the battery is not replaceable. So once you run out of this, you run out of this. Let's do some numbers here. Let's do the number one. So when you put on the ink, you can't see it at all. And I think that's part of the reason for the whole thing. So when you put the light on, it kind of shows up. All right, I'm in my dark room, bathroom. Might be a little echoey, but you can see how the page is glowing in the dark. That's just from being out in the light. I'm gonna shine the flashlight on here and you can kind of see that one and two that I that I used earlier. So it's like you can put like secret messages on there. All right, I have my stencil right on there. Let me shine the light on it. Take it off. There we go. That's how you're supposed to use it. Okay, well, I don't know about the pen. So if you guys have advice that I didn't get, I'm gonna give this one a thumbs down just because I would expect a little bit more from the stencil because otherwise you're just doing all the numbers and stencils. Another Dollar Tree Plus set. This is the Curiosity brand again. This one's foil and glitter sticker set, ages six and up. This one was $3. There's 19 pieces in here. And this reminded me of the name brand foil stickers that I've showed you from Skillmatics, which I absolutely love. But I thought this would be fun to kind of compare and see the differences. We have our instructions with this one. Here's our materials packet. The Skillmatic set, you definitely get a lot more and the price isn't that much more. We have the same set of materials here so these are our stickers and they're kind of like on a thick foam core so we have peace signs and butterflies and flowers and stars cakes umbrellas oh there's loose glitter on here <laughs> the schematic sets do not have the loose glitter but you have these foil sheets and it doesn't look like there's quite a, a lot in here the schematic set you definitely get plenty of foil sheets I need to like link some of the schematics too so you guys can see the difference and compare for yourself maybe 10 sheets there of foil this is loose glitter which I'm not going to open this to pour onto your stickers and I guess hope that it sticks and doesn't get all over the place personally not a fan of that which is why I'm not going to open it the instructions are telling me to use the paintbrush with the glitter and I I don't know I don't know call me crazy for not wanting to use that okay so now on the sticker so we peel off the backing and it leaves an adhesive part of the sticker so you can take your gold foil what do we want? Let's just do the gold. And you push this on here and it's gonna stick to the sticker part. It's like magic. And this is like the mess free part. I don't know why they put glitter in here and make it so messy. Okay, and then you just peel it off. 
and now your foil has adhered to that. And then you can do another part, like I didn't do the center, just the center peels off and I can add the foil to the center and it sticks right to it. This is working just like the name brand. You can pop off the sticker and then it has a backing and you would stick it on like you would in any normal sticker. The Skillmatic set actually came with a whole scene where you can put these stickers on. So that's a benefit to that. It does come with more materials and does not have glitter. I still recommend the Skillmatics one over this one because when you come, when it comes down to it, the price is still really comparable. So I will definitely tag that so you can get that as an option. But if you're in a pinch and you need something quick, this is the exact same thing, just less of it. And then with the glitter, we're going to give it a thumbs up because it's doing what it's supposed to do. And um, that's what we like. These paint and pour kits have popped up at all the Dollar Trees I visited recently. I have a Nightmare Before Christmas, a Frozen one. I also saw a few other licensed characters in there. It says it creates two plasters and you can kind of see the molds just right on the backs of the packages too. I actually thought the frozen ones were the cutest ones out of the bunch. It's like we have our mixture for our plaster, which we'll have to mix on our own. There is a paintbrush that is horrible. And then a set of paints for frozen. Then we have like a little peach, lilac, and a pale blue and a white. And then we have our instructions that tell you how to do it. Same thing, but we have different colored paints, a little darker colors, same horrible paintbrush instructions and then a little bit different mold. Let's go try this out. The instructions called for me to mix the plaster with a fourth a cup of water in a disposable container. So to add it in slowly and just mix as you go. I poured it into the first mold but then realized I had enough left over to actually use it in the second mold without having to make more plaster. So to let this dry overnight on a flat surface, the containers themselves were not flat so I used the paintbrush that it came with to hold it up to flatten it out a little bit and we'll check on it in the morning. I actually let it dry for basically two days because there was still some dampness on it but here's what we ended up with so now it's time to try and pop these out oh no it broke that's sad i'm gonna try just one side on the other one first i don't want to break it there we go that turned out so cute all right the nightmare before christmas one is next and i'm breaking it by doing it that way so, okay there must be a way to get these out that i don't know about yeah that's into pieces Oh, you guys, I'm probably doing this completely wrong. The next step would be to paint these, but it's all over my hands now. Maybe I needed another day. This one is adorable, but I don't trust it staying. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to give this a thumbs down. It might be because of my user experience being a thumbs down. If you have different experience with this, let me know because I was extremely, extremely hopeful. But it did turn out cute. I just feel like it might break. If you like this video, I have a whole bunch more. I'm gonna put them on the screen to go watch next. I will see you over there. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.